Hey everyone, it's up North Collectors here. We are opening up a 2021 Topps Finest basketball box. This is a hobby box directly from Topps. We got this through the Montgomery Club, so we're probably getting it a little bit earlier than most. Um, we were able to get two boxes. They ran $130. You're guaranteed one autograph. Topps has not come out with a basketball product in years. Um, we're excited to open this. We did not collect basketball when they were still making it. Unfortunately. Yeah, so the finest basketball. There's one autograph and a lot of veterans in here. I don't think there's any... No current players. Current players, right? This is all retired players. Hall I would say probably 50% of the checklist is Hall of Famers, roughly. Um, autograph in each box. There's 62 cards in the set. I believe all 62 have autographs as well. If it's not all 62, it's very close. The autograph checklist is pretty much the same thing. Um, a bunch of parallels. Uh, this was an online exclusive, so your hobby shops will not have gotten this as a direct allocation right. from Tops. It's not something that they get allocated. So uh, the only way that you can get it was by getting it on the Tops website or by buying it on the secondary market. So, so it's, it's going to be unlicensed. Uh, there's no uh, player association or NBA license with this. Um, but you do have big names like Shaquille O'Neal has an autograph in here. Um, I saw Mike Bibby on the check checklist. Uh, who else is on here? There's bigger, Shaq, bigger names than Dirk, that. Dirk, uh, yep. like Dennis Rodman, yeah. Horace Grant, uh, Chauncey Billups, I believe. Okay. Uh, there's like Jason Kidd, Juwan Howard. Yeah. There's a bunch of a bunch of pretty solid guys from the '90s, '80s, and sometimes a little bit even later. So. <laughs> Let's go ahead and get into it here. I haven't really seen any other videos, so maybe this will be a first look at the product for you guys. Yeah, if not first, one of the first. So here's what the base design is going to look like. Pretty cool looking um, with that basketball in the background. Scoring, passing, and running. So there's a look at the cards. I do like the borders. They're pretty nice. But I believe all of the pictures, like, I don't really think they can even have them, like, playing basketball. No, so they can't. It's like yeah. Steve Kerr in a suit, uh, John Starks, and Jeff Hornacek. So Hornacek. Hornacek. Yeah. Same yeah. thing. Yeah. So, you know, you're going to get people that aren't going to like these. And I understand it. Without, you know, a basketball court in the background, they're a different uh, sort of look to the cards. Burrell, James Worthy. So from the checklist, it does not appear that there are any inserts in here, which is pretty interesting. Yeah, so that is like interesting. Nothing besides yeah. base and parallels. So that's a little bit weird, but we'll yeah, see, that, that is kind of weird. I mean, you think they'd have some kind of an insert that they've got here. one of the parallels. I showed the odds. There's a ton of different parallels in here. Tim Hardaway, Boykins, and out of 199, Del oh, Curry. Nice. Pretty cool. Del Curry, yeah. 179 out of 199. Uh, Charlotte Hornet, great. Of course, uh, you know, the more famous Curry. Yes, right. But Del Curry was quite the ball player in his day. We've got another parallel in here. We've got an Atomic, it looks like. Uh, Latrell Sprewell, Jawan Howard. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I bet a Michigan fan would love that card. Steve Smith. And an Atomic out of 299 of Hersey Hawkins. Hawkins. Nice. Uh, so definitely for the Hornets and the 76ers, I believe. Yeah, definitely. Oh, and AI is the other. AI is really the probably oh, the biggest AI's name on the checklist. Here, yep. Yep. Yeah, so yeah, yeah, he would be the biggest name. Yep. Yeah. We've got a base refractor in this one. Randy Brown, refractor. Uh, Mirror Sand. Mirror Sand. Pretty cool. I wonder if they, yeah, it does see a refractor up on the top right underneath the basketball there. So uh, Greg Anthony and Robert Horry. Yeah, so this is back in my era basketball, this is like, all like, like 1990s, yeah, like late yeah. 80s, yep. 90s players. Yep. So, and some you know guys that squeaked into the early 2000s and stuff. Yeah, but. Stoudemire. Yeah, pretty cool for me actually. And I think that's really what they're trying to appeal Isaiah to. Isaiah Ryder. I think Isaiah Ryder was the um, slam dunk champion one year. I think he was the guy that had the blindfold, but no, maybe that was Brown. Anyways, maybe Isaiah Ryder had blindfold too, and I, th I think Isaiah Ryder was the dunk champion. Cole Anthony. Oh, so, so there, there is, is a, modern player. a modern player. I don't think he has autographs in here, though. Uh, Jason Kidd and Del Curry. So maybe the auto and base checklist is a little bit different, uh, but I don't believe there are many from when I was looking at it, I didn't see, like, I looked pretty thoroughly at it, and I was like, eh, there's not really, you there know, he is. that one, but AI got to not really meet AI, but be around him for a day. <laughs> uh, very interesting person, didn't really want anything to do with anybody. Mike Bibby. There's Mike Bibby. And Greg, Greg Anthony. Anthony again. 
And then you had uh, Allen Houston there. Allen Houston was a piston for a while. And then uh, New York Nick, he was a good ball player. Got a purple in this one. Hawkins, so already some doubles. Larry Nance Sr. Another Hawkins. Hawkins on one the front. Pack. Weird. And to 250. Okay, BJ Armstrong. Armstrong. Uh, definitely, yeah, so three parallels in that first half, not too bad. Um, definitely a set that is appealing to a very specific type of collectors. Yes, uh, and you can sure. tell by the design too. It has that late '80s, early yeah. '90s design. Yeah, you know, it's, very colorful. So, I mean, it, it's it a is, cool set. It, yeah, it's, it's almost like they took the MJ documentary thing and said, "Hey, we could run on something of uh, old basketball players." Because BJ Armstrong was obviously in the documentary. Um, but yeah, and, so uh, what's his name? Ku coaches or Ku? Oh, yeah, Tony Ku coach. Yeah, yep, he's in here. So. Larry Hughes. I don't think we have a parallel on here. There he is. There's Dirk. So theoretically, you should get pretty close to a complete set. Okay, this is one of the cool. cards they had on the sell sheet. <laughs> Isaiah Thomas in his fuzzy, warm, furry, whatever coat. Steve Nash. Steve Nash. Cool. Coach of the Brooklyn Nets. So definitely cool to see. And then Jason Kidd, who we pulled earlier, is the coach of the Mavs. So. All right. Joe Smith. Good defender. Robert Ori, known with his days with the Rockets. Tim Hardaway. And Vladi. Um, Vladi Divac for the Lakers, uh, probably best known with his time with the Lakers. I think he played with the Kings as well. There's a Detlef Shrimp. Supersonics guy. Glenn Rice, Michigan cool. Great. And then Miami Heat, three point shooter. Sean Kemp. Sean Kemp. And Dikembe doing his famous finger wave. Get out of here cool. with that. Definitely some cool stuff uh, in the set. Some of the pictures and stuff are pretty interesting. But again, like this is not like a mass appeal set. This is a pretty niche. Yes, uh, type this is of not going to appeal to mod most modern young collectors, I would imagine. It um, is shiny. Yeah, but. Dominique Wilkins and Dennis Hobson. No, I do not know who Dennis Hobson is. It's probably the first player I don't know in here. Um, Brad Sellers and Anthony Hardway. So Penny's in here. Does Penny have autographs in here? I'm... That'd be a pretty fun one to pull. I'm not sure. Penny's big. Uh, he's big in the hobby. A lot of Penny collectors out there. Um, Joe Dumars. Yeah, he does. Yep. That's a cool picture with him in his American uh, flag there. And a refractor, Steve, Steve Kerr. Kerr. Kerr would be a cool auto, too. I've sold some Kerr auto. Oh, oh there oh, he is right there. The speak of Steve Kerr. <laughs> I wasn't expecting a Steve Kerr autograph right there. Honestly, that's kind of a cool... I mean, Kerr... It's kind of nice, yeah. Being that he's a coach, former yes, player. Yes, Like a Kerr, Jawan, like some of these coaches in like a suit, like they're yeah. coaching it up, could probably do pretty well. Probably. because There's a lot of Kerr fans that are Bulls fans. There's Kerr fans from one Because Kerr played... Who else did Kerr play for? He played um, for the Spurs, right? I think I've sold a Spurs auto. He played for the before. Spurs, could be... Um, Best known for um, the, Bulls, the Bulls, obviously. Yeah. But his coaching career, too, he's probably, I wouldn't say, I don't know, it's hard to know. Those runs with the Warriors were pretty crazy. So, Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, definitely not a bad autograph to get. No. It's pretty cool. That's for sure. Yeah. So, yeah, there could be, I mean, you could get a Scott Burrell autograph, which probably would not be a sought after. Yeah. Uh, Vince Carter. He has autos. Refractor. Well. And another Detlef Shrimp. And then another Steve Kerr. So that you know, I don't. The checklist is how many cards? Sixty-two. Yeah. So you're gonna get a lot of doubles, obviously, yeah. in a box. And then if you open up a case of this, you get like another Steve Kerr. Yeah. Yeah. Collation's pretty interesting. Pretty so far. yeah, pretty weird. Another Vladdy. And another Dennis Hobson. Another that's the Steve Kerr. So your side had all the parallels on it. What'd you get? Three, Three parallels? parallels? Yeah. And then the auto was on this. I kind of have a feeling we'll get one more parallel though if I had to guess. Jason Richardson and another Dirk. Anthony Hardway and a Larry Nance Sr. All right, so let's see if we get one more parallel out of here. Once again, um, these were 130 bucks. Let us know in the comments below what you think of this product. Um, I th I don't know if they still were on the website. You could buy them about a day after. Uh, I don't think I see any beef. And so. I don't see anything, no. Nope. Latrell Sprewell again. And 
a John Starks. This guy has probably one of the most classic dunks in uh, NBA footage. If you go look up John Starks dunk, you'll find it. And Mike Bibby, longtime king. I had fun playing him on 2K on PS2. Yes. Um, so definitely an interesting set. Uh, definitely one, uh, definitely a good one to like watch a video of before you go crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you might it, not want to yeah, buy might, multiple boxes. It might not it. appeal yeah. to you at all, but it might. I mean, that Steve Kerr auto, like if I was like a Warriors fan or something, that's pretty cool looking. On card, autograph, Steve Kerr. Pretty sweet. Uh, it'd be very interesting to see how these parallels do. Of yeah. Guys like, you know, BJ Armstrong, Hawkins, and Del Curry. Del Curry was our best parallel. Um, yeah. But. Definitely cool. There's not many refractors. No, I um, think I put some on the other stack. So there's. I think you only got one other one though. Mm, I think maybe two. two. Yeah, there's, oh, there's three other ones. Three other ones. Yep. Vince Carter, it's pretty decent. Um, and then a Kerr refractor. And then the Dot was no the Dot Lift wasn't. Uh, Hobson. Hobson. Okay. Yep. Yeah. So. Overall, four silver refractors, a speckle, an atomic, and a purple. So some uh, of the higher numbered parallels, but definitely decent. Uh, I don't know, $130 is not too bad considering, for the auto checklist. Yeah, considering what you can get in basketball nowadays. Yeah, I mean, $120 doesn't get you very far. So I wouldn't say it's too bad, but I also would say, like, I mean, for someone my age, like, it's cool, but it's like, eh, you know, it's whatever. very Yeah, it's very much set up for a... 40 plus yeah. person or that, yeah like mid 30s yeah mid 30s mid to late 30s and or a 40s. young person that loves 90s basketball yeah, exactly yeah so anyways let us know in the comments below what you guys think uh hopefully you enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching uh please like comment and subscribe we try to put out uh, videos uh five to six times a week so if you're watching this today stay tuned for more videos we do a lot of baseball and football as well as basketball uh, so we will try to bring you those when we can so thanks again for watching uh, take care have fun collecting we will see you soon